Hello and welcome to the Mega Bread Van channel. So we're going to be doing something Mega Bread Van today. Um, it seems that uh, the, the sort of delays between doing a, a video about Mega Bread Van uh, are getting longer and longer because other subjects get in the way. Um, like for example recently I've been to the Quorn Great Central Railway Transport Extravaganza uh, up in Leicester. So I came back from that last Monday and now I can finally get on with something Mega Bread Van. So we were talking about uh, in the last video um, sort of external um, auxiliary trans uh, auxiliary I get transport on the brain auxiliary battery packs. Um, so um, this is a new one. Um, you've seen the old one in the other video, um, which was a, a special from Lidl. It's uh, a tiny battery pack which has been very useful for charging uh, mobile phones um, while we've been on holiday and on the move but uh, it's not really um, something that I think that can be useful for what I want to do. Now the idea of having an auxiliary pack is to take the strain off the battery in the van itself because although you've got a cigarette lighter socket uh, you can end up plugging too many things into it and I fear that um, it's not really going to cope with that, uh, especially when it comes to perhaps having a heater, because the heater on, on this van is frankly not very good. Uh, it just doesn't heat very much, and uh, I'd like to be warm, uh, just a creature comfort. So that's going to take a lot of power, uh, even if it's one designed for a car. Um, but uh, you know, it's something that um, will have to run off something else. Um, I can run my phones, I can run uh, eventually a fan uh, in the summer, um, I can run my dash cam. There's lots and lots of things that will be coming off an auxiliary power battery, uh, which I wouldn't really like coming off the actual battery in the van. Um, so the idea is to replace it with something else, so this is it. Um, as seen on the channel uh, Mir Mon Ami, uh, that's where I was influenced, and um, they gave it a good review, uh, and it was reasonably priced. I mostly get a discount on it because there's a sale on it, uh, all powers. Uh, in fact, it's a lot cheaper, well, a lot cheaper, it's a, well, yeah, it's significantly cheaper than the same thing on Amazon. Um, I looked on Amazon, I think it was 165 euros, I paid 115 for this one. And you might think that's a lot of money to spend on a battery pack, but the attraction with this is, is the possibility one day to have solar power, because you can actually get solar panels, weatherproof solar panels, that actually fit on this battery pack. So there's no faffing about trying to work out if the solar panel is the right one for your battery because it's the same company uh, but that's a future project not something i'm going to be doing just yet because that's more expenditure and i think that's enough for now but i haven't actually opened the box yet so it's going to be an unboxing so we'll have a look and see what we've got well i've had a sneaky look but i haven't actually opened it up properly and I probably won't actually try it out in this video. I'll do that in another video, but I just want to show you what we've got. Well, first of all, on the back of the box, you've got some info. Um, well, it's a lithium-ion battery. We know that as much. I'll, I'll read some, some bits out so you can get a rough idea of um, what it's capable of. Uh, so it's um, 41,600 mAh. Don't ask me what that is, I've no idea. Uh, 3.7 volt. So the weight, um, well, the box is quite heavy, but the, the battery itself is 1.4 kilos. Size um, 200 by 170 millimeters by 48 millimeters deep, so that's quite small. Um, DC input, 100 volts, 220 volts, 50 60 hertz. Solar panel, yeah, solar panel, 18 volts. 99 watts max like i said they provide a solar panel in the range so there's nothing to really worry about about whether it being compatible because there is one usb-c input um so you've got usb-c usb you've got a wireless charge for your phone which is 
there. My phone's not compatible, unfortunately. It's a bit old. Um, but yeah, you've got quite a few good things on there. Uh, there isn't uh, an adapter to have a cigarette lighter socket on it, but I'm sure that you'd be able to fit one. Um, so let's have a look, shall we? Here's your packaging. So you've got your power to charge it up with. It says it, cha it takes um, one and a half hours to charge it. I'm not so sure, but be something to test in another video so i think i'll do another video just about the unit and fiddling around with it but like i said that'll be another another one um so destructions and we'll get the battery pack out itself so we can have a look this is when it's handy to set up a table next to you because then you can put all that on there so then uh, we'll take it out It's quite dinky, isn't it? So on the front, you've got a normal French European two pin plug. So that's useful for your laptop, for example. So you can run your laptop off it. So that could be good for me because if I get out in my van and uh, want to stop off when it's nice and sunny like it is today, I can sit and work on my laptop if I want to. You've got two USB plugs at the front. You can see that and the display which i've seen on the i think it was on the box i'll have a quick look or perhaps it was on the site no it's not on the box but it actually tells you how much power is left so in percentage terms uh, it tells you how much you got in there so that's good because my current pack doesn't have anything it's just a little red light that gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and they have no idea how long it's going to last so that's quite a useful thing. You've got a Type C plug on this side, and distracted by plane. Uh, DC in, so AC out, USB out. Okay, so you've got toggle there, toggle switch. Not quite sure what it's for. I guess you're toggling between having uh, full power AC. If you're going to power something, oh yeah, one idiot. AC is that, I guess, and uh, obviously USB is USB. So yeah, there we go. So that's just an introduction for now. Um, let me know what you think about it in the comments. And I think that we'll bring things to a close. And next time, we'll get it running and we'll see what we can do with it. So thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and thanks for supporting the channel. Bye. Support. Mega. Red. Van. Hill. Yeah.